because I think for the most part, we'll be showing you this view, which is pretty special. I'd say more appealing than my face, <laughs> to say the least. Look at this uh, guy. Super nice. And we're just up here on the top floor of our friend's uncle's house. He actually built this house with his bare hands, wow. which doesn't even make sense. But he... You want me to build you a house like this, Ivana? <laughs> well, I want me to build one too. <laughs> so I think what we'll do is we'll just sit right here. We can literally sit on that ledge here and look at the view. <laughs> Pretty fantastic way to spend a new year. Yeah. If the first day of New Year's is any indication on how the year will go, I think look it will be a this. good year. Wow. Because you got a cruise ship here, tons of people coming and going, lots of small boats, and there's a village right there. down there really really great we got some good videos coming about uh this little island yeah and it's actually good weather today wow blue Perfect sky weather. we should go to the beach later and funny the island is named iabella iabella which literally means beautiful island beautiful island so All here right. we are who's in the chat here paul cannon paul cannon shout out to happy him happy new year lucas uh says you must visit florianapolis which we will do uh in a few weeks i think we'll go there and then let's see again who's in the chat. The Urban Goose, Michi, F. Chow. Happy New Year all. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for joining. But let us know in the chat. Let us know what you did for New Year's. And if you yeah, Happy New, New Year's, Year's all. Because maybe you guys saw our New Year's video. We had a pretty special New Year's. Yeah. I do look pretty red, don't I? Yes, yeah, Steve oh got a little sun. My shoulders are red. Dude, I put on so much of this. Cream sunscreen doesn't work my skin just doesn't do it in the brazilian <laughs> sun but uh maybe in the future i'll just wear a shirt on the beach yeah i might be the guy on the beach with a shirt on because the sunscreen just doesn't you work. were yesterday you were actually the only guy with a shirt on i had to put it on i put so much sunscreen and my skin is glowing hot and i go i just can't do it i was built for the snow you know <laughs> sambado saying you must go to Ilha Ilha grande in rio yeah, we've got lots of plans. It looks like the problem is this in Brazil. This is the problem with Brazil, you mm -hmm. see. Everywhere we go, we want to make 10 vlogs and stay there for two weeks, mm -hmm. which is too big of a country. We're going <laughs> to see 5% of the I country. I know. I think we love it so much, and we haven't even explored that like, much of Brazil yet. We literally came to this first beach we've been to, which yeah, is like right uh, three, four hours from Ooh. Sao Paulo City. And we've already decided to stay a few extra nights. Yeah. And honestly, look at this. if every beach we go to, we stay a few extra nights, we will never make it to Rio. Lucas said, you know? skip Rio. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know what to do. I but think Rio is actually the most famous spot in Brazil. Certainly. Just because of that, I think we have to go. Just because it's the Seems most famous. Seems like you gotta go. It's like going to, to. I mean, people will say, people will say, you haven't gone to Rio? Did you really go to Brazil? Exactly. It's you like know? going to New York State and not going to New York City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice beach. Happy New Year. Uh, more people are joining us. Hello, guys. Hello, Alfred, MK, Happy New Carla. Year. Feliz Ano Novo. Feliz Ano Novo. Eddie Carlos, Jonathan Prado. I cannot say all the names, but Happy New Year, guys. Let us know where you're watching from oh. and let us know if you have any ideas <gasps> on what you might want to see us do in brazil because we've got 90 days we might be here for more than 90 days it's hard to say it's really hard to say yeah, but everywhere we go it's like so easy for a for a tourist but also for a youtube tourist so easy to make videos yeah. there's videos on every corner culturally rich and oh. visually so beautiful it's really easy to get yuri, good videos yuri is saying come to brasilia which is the capital of we brazil. hope to go there i mean the so, list of places I think we want to we'll go, go there. yeah the list of places we want to go is so long we're gonna have three hours in each place yeah some <laughs> people say brasilia is boring but no, it can't be barn. It's a huge city. There's lots to do in a huge city. Yeah, but we will see. I think we want to go there too. We want to go everywhere. So I think we will somehow do a visa run once our 90 days is over somewhere to a country nearby and then come back here. I don't know what the plan is, but we love Brazil so far. It's been really great. <laughs> the first impressions have been really great. And it's so funny that before we got here, we were so nervous. Everyone says, you're going to get robbed. Oh my gosh, watch out. And then we get here and people are super <laughs> People friendly. are saying Brasilia is boring. <laughs> That sounds like On a vlog chat. title. Let's that sounds see. like a vlog title. Who says Brasilia really? is boring and we have a go have a great oh, day? Oh, what is there to do in Brasilia, guys? For those who suggested us it's to go into Brasilia. the capital city. They would have tons of museums. 
<laughs> we would have some good food and some good cultural stuff. I think we should maybe try to go. Yeah. But the problem is Brazil is huge. Yeah. So Brazil it's not like huge. going two hour bus ride. A lot of them are going to be 10 hour bus rides or something mm -hmm. big. So. Hey, Ken is on the chat. Happy New Year, Ken. Oh, shout out to Ken Abroad. If you guys don't know Ken Abroad's channel. It's our friend. We see him there. We met him in Malaysia last year and we actually celebrated New Year with Ken last year. So. Wow, right. <laughs> it's been a year already. It's been a year since we were last were with our friend. Yeah. Yeah. Malaysia. But uh, shout out to Ken. My dad said Northeast me. is the place to go. Uh, that's right, because a lot of people actually are saying that the northeast of Brazil is the most beautiful spot or place or area in Brazil, the northeast. So we must go there. People a lot of people that we have met said that the northeast of Brazil is even more beautiful than Rio. So I think we have to go there. I wonder how Rio got so famous. Maybe maybe Rio is more is bigger and more accessible to tourists or something. Yeah, and the Christ of the Redeemer is there. Uh, so the that's Redeemer. the famous statue. It's famous yeah, worldwide, yeah. you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Brasilia is awesome if you plan on doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but it happens a lot that the big cities get some hate because... Yeah. Certainly, Brasilia would be less beautiful than the, the coastline or the northeast. Right. But I think we could still find stuff to do. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, it's funny that 90 days is not enough to see, like, not even close to see yeah. all of the country. And also, some people are saying go to the Amazon. Amazon is also big. Like, every part what? of Brazil is big. Yeah. The Amazon is itself big. is big. Even the cuisine, we were so impressed. There's Even so the many. We, there's so many national dishes yeah, or important dishes true. to try. So many foods to try. Oh, hello from Serbia. Hello, hello, and hello from Malaysia. Hello, hello. Hello from India. Hello, hello. Wow, the chat is looking lively. Today. <laughs> so we're sitting on the top floor of our friend's uncle's house. Yeah, there's right here. There's a bunch of people down below. We'll go down there later and we'll see what they're and up to. And this is the view, guys. Let me just show you the where we are. The view is incredible. Be safe, Ivan. Don't forget. Yeah, yeah. This is kind of like the uh, residential area where the local lived up the hill, because down there is where all the resorts and hotels are are nearby the beach all around the island. But up here, up the hill, is where the local lives. So uh, Gustavo, our friend's uncle, lives up here. And this is the house. Steve is just saying. <laughs> Got a cute dog right there. What's his name again? Please be careful. I'm I am. Okay. Uh, dog named Tufon. Tufon, which, which means like tornado, I think. Kind of like tornado, Tufon. yeah. Something like this. It yeah. Means, means twister or something. And Drake uh, is saying, come to Salvador. So we want to go there maybe for carnival, right, Steve? Carnival. I mean, there's so much to do. Yeah, Carnival, I think we'll be in Salvador. I think we need to book soon because it will fill up. But we'll see. Uh, let's see. Oh, Casey is here. Hello, Casey. How are you? Come to Bahia. Bahia. Salvador is in Bahia, I think. Yeah. Lots to do over there. Yeah. So we're about to have a fish fry. Oh. So I was helping yeah. out cleaning some fish down below. We did just make our first ever caperinha. Oh yeah, we made I our caperinha. I never saw so much sugar in a drink. <laughs> caperinha, we didn't know there's so much sugar. No wonder it tastes so but good. But it's so good. It's, it's amazing. amazingly flavored drink. And with Ilabella, tons of booze. the island of Ilabella got something special added to its caperinha here. Uh, they add the orange leaves, which makes the flavor so much more tastier like amazing like more fresh fre like more fresh yeah, yeah more light yeah yeah, yeah. but super nice drinks so uh, some... what's the time here it's like 12 something 12 something p.m during the day actually right around 11 30 we yeah. started making caperinhas so 11 30 a.m is when you start drinking on <laughs> new year's weekend <laughs> which is pretty spectacular she's got her tan yeah I, i'm tanning a little bit right now it's a little bit red but hopefully it'll turn brown look at, look at this too. Oh, Steve gosh. is as red as a lobster. Oh gosh. <laughs> Guys, the cream just you just you can't put enough on. Yeah. Um someone has a good question here from Sambado. What really stands out in Brazil comparing to the other countries you guys visited? What do you think, Steve? Uh what stands out about Brazil? Uh I, I really, think it's the I would say this, and this is coming from uh, the Balkans, sort of Eastern Europe. We were in Serbia before. Yeah. We did be pretty, pretty open in Serbia that the people look more cold. Serbian people are very friendly, 
you know, right, right, we right. had to overcome this sort of reserved nature. Yeah. Uh, Brazil is the opposite. The people are like outwardly friendly, yeah. warm. The clothing style is very, like everyone's just open and warm. <laughs> uh, not a lot of English is spoken here, yeah, not but a lot. you don't need to because they're so enthusiastically trying to help you. Yeah. Super warm culture. Yes, yes. Super warm people. Super Which warm. was funny because before we came here was this big, everyone was telling us, uh, you're gonna get robbed, it's very dangerous. And yeah. we get here and not only is it safe, the people are super warm. That's just true. smiling and just you know open kind of people yeah and we got lots of invitations from the locals too so that's very nice Thank yeah you like so uh, much. our friend Gustavo's uncle who owns the house here he's uh he doesn't speak that much English at all but mm -hmm. him and I get along so well <laughs> yeah. he's like showing me how to clean fish we'll make caparinas joking around yeah and it's just like a warm sort of smiling Sort yeah. of reflective of the weather. The weather's so warm and nice, and the people are just warm and nice. Yeah, let's read a couple more uh, comments here. It's going by quite fast, which is good. Which is good. Uh, news. Hi, Weifang. How are you? Shout out to Weifang. Yeah. Happy New Year. Feliz Ano Novo. Uh, uh, Salamat Tahun Baru in Malaysia. Salamat Tahun Baru. Yeah. Oh, Happy New Year in Malaysia. Yeah. In Malay, sorry. In Malay. I mean, is there a better place to sit on New Year's weekend? Check out the <laughs> view. It's so nice. Oof. Let's see. Uh... Oh, Rodrigo Marquez is saying Brasilia is an open air museum. So if you like architecture, you will love the city. It's designed by Oscar Neymar. 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 Yeah. Check the view, Ivana, please. Okay. Scroll the comments as you look the view. It's so nice. Okay, here you go, guys. And what's funny is a Brazilian person might see this and say it's only okay. You know, this this is so common. You know, yeah. All along the coast is this beautiful, and it's just so oh, nice. Oh, imagine you live here. I want to move here. I know, right? Maybe uh, so Gustavo's nice. uh, uncle is uh, hiring yeah. hiring a neighbor <laughs> nearby. <Yeah. laughs> uh, Super nice. Sambaro is saying in Ilabela go to Praia dos Castellanos. Oh, that's a beach? We'll check it out. Maybe we is can. it far from. Uh... So, our plan was to go back to Sao Paulo City today, yeah. which is the 2nd of January, but we've already booked a place to stay. We're going to stay at least two or three more nights because we love this place. And honestly, we haven't even started vlogging yet. Yeah. We've just been enjoying with Gustavo's family and just eating and drinking and laughing. And so maybe tomorrow we'll go make the vlog of this place. So much to do. It looks mm -hmm. like a small village on the, on the shoreline. Yeah. But uh, this. there's this is restaurants. The house. There's uh, tons of cultural stuff. The beaches are really special. I love how you can drink on the beach. You can bring your own beer to the beach and drink it. Mm -hmm. Which is really nice. Which makes you think there might be drunk people or like garbage, but super clean, super quiet and respectful. Everyone just got a cooler with their own beer. Yeah, that's you know, true. In Canada, it would be like you have to pay for it, and, and the cops would be patrolling. It's yes. So much more, you know, open and do what you like, and yes. everyone's got a cooler, and everyone's drinking on the beach and having a good time, family friendly. The beaches here are super nice. Yeah. This is our first it. taste of Brazilian beaches, and it's like <laughs> super yeah, the first nice. One. I love the openness of. How people are you kind of do yeah. what you like everyone brings their chairs and takes a corner or a little place and just sort of has their own little private party on the beach Ooh. oh there's a good shot Ooh, slow motion Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> super nice <laughs> Ila Bella means beautiful island yeah it literally it beautiful. means beautiful island yeah and casey is asking have you guys got vaccinated yet yeah we got it yeah we got it in serbia a couple months ago so we're fully vaccinated and we are safe for travel even over here towards the island is super nice did you show over here before on the right yeah i showed it super yeah. nice mm -hmm. makai super restaurant lush. uh pedro is uh, recommending makai restaurant in ila bella you guys are gonna love it makai restaurant okay the size of this Ooh, bird. can you see that bird it's super small on the screen but it's big on my eyes yeah right there that's a big old that's a bird of prey man that's hunting something what is that eagle or something i have no idea hawk i don't know it looks man. like an eagle flying looks so easy when you don't, don't even move your wings look at this guy he's cruising yeah Jealous. oh it's coming back would you rather be a, a bird who can fly or a fish who can swim be honest i'll rather be a bird i want to fly <laughs> i'm also scared of deep sea so mm. bird or fish good question for the chat yeah <laughs> i go um, bird every time 
Hi! Someone is from Bangkok, Thailand. Hi, Wilson. How are you? Um, Shout out to everybody. Happy New Year to yeah. everybody. Uh, oh, your dad is asking, is that cruise cruise ship yes it yeah is. that'll be a cruise ship we were asking gustavo where these people are from most likely right there he said probably south america cruise. somewhere it could be argentina uruguay, could be uruguay paraguay. paraguay it could be other people from brazil different yeah. parts of brazil yeah. but it would probably go up the whole coastline yeah uh depending on how long it goes maybe it goes into more ah, north, hello north. from romania from paul hello hello romania. romania dude romania i have the biggest regret of my life and my travel life I can't believe I did not get a Rappi Bucharest jersey. <laughs> like, I got yeah, so, so many jerseys, and the Rappi Bucharest was the first one. For me not to have that jersey, I got to go back to Romania ASAP. You got to go get back to Romania. And go to another game. I have like so many jerseys. It's like a theme of the channel. I wear this. So Rappi Bucharest is a football team in Romania. It's a football team, and it was the first ever football team I ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> it was an amazing experience. It was the best atmosphere we've ever seen. Ah, oh, hello from Canada, Danny. Danny, shout out to Danny. Hello, and someone is saying from North Korea. That would be amazing if you're watching from there. Wow. Careful. Dude, careful. Yeah. Not to get killed. Shout Oops. out to the VPN company <laughs> that you use. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh, Wilson is a native Polistano, but living in Bangkok right now. Oh, cool. Awesome. Cool, cool. Uh, oh, Luis is saying in Illabella, you must try the cod, codfish cake. Codfish cake? Yeah. I guess it's a specialty uh, here, maybe. Interesting. Codfish yeah. cake? Yeah. Interesting. Like dessert? Uh, like, I, I guess like cake, not dessert. Like a uh, savory cake. Ah, uh, okay. Like baked. They do a lot of baked fish here, it seems. Is that a rooftop swimming pool in front of you? <laughs> Which one? Uh, right there. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes, it's could water be. for the shower. I think it's, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think but it's could pool. be. But hey, you know, on a hot day, anything could be a swimming pool. Yeah, in Brazil, <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, that's so it's funny. fried cakes. Okay. Okay, so it's like a dinner. It's not, not not a dessert. Yeah. Hello from Germany. Hello. So we got people from all over the world watching right wow. now. That's awesome. Hello from Pakistan. Oh yay, Pakistan! Happy New Year. Let's see. Uh, we Fang is asking, what is your plan for the next few days? So we're gonna chill on Iabella. Yeah. Hard to pronounce things in Portuguese because uh, you got to remember the H is a silent letter. It's not il. It's not ilhabella. It's Iabella. Iabella. Anyway, we'll stay here for a few days and make some videos here, and then we'll go back to Sao Paulo. We actually have an Airbnb in Sao Paulo with our big bags in it. Yeah. And so we're just uh, in some small backpacks now. Yeah. Uh, enjoying the island life. Yeah. You Super. can see uh, the small boats there taking people from the cruise ship to the island yeah, just to have a day, a day of holiday. There's only one going back and forth because he's been yeah. going back and forth for like two hours now. Yeah. You think there'd be five or six boats going, you know? But yeah. anyway, they're all coming. Probably the village down here might be a bit of a party now because all the tourists here might be spending money and yeah, drinking yeah, yeah. And, and listening to music and, you know? I think the the main main area is that downtown area, which is like below us right here. Yeah. That's the downtown area. And I guess all the tourists are going there and they're like restaurants and cafes. And, and probably stay tuned to nice, our channel for a uh, video from church. down there. Yeah. Because down there is super nice. There's an old church and a bunch of restaurants and a bunch of really nice beaches. And it's nice that there's, you know, the beaches are all along the coastline. Yeah, they're like so many beaches, and like here nice the and then out. here. And then here, and then I'm yeah, sure on the yeah. other side too. Like, this is a quite a big island, actually. So part of the job is done by Mother Nature, just kind of separating the beaches. But then also people yeah. kind of build around them in a nice way where it's sort of... If you walk along the coast, I mean, every 15 yeah. minutes you'll be on a new beach. It's ah, kind of greetings nice. from Ohio. Hi, Victor, from Ohio. Shout out to Ohio. Uh, Fabio is saying you can uh, get a boat that will take you to several beaches around the island. Yeah. yeah, it's so funny that uh, the people we're staying with just invited us to go on a trip like that on Tuesday. Yeah, but, I but think we're we'll leaving. be leaving on Tuesday. Yeah, we're going a, back to Sao Paulo. 
but I think their trip was around some beaches around here and then to a couple islands nearby, like a three island trip. Yeah. So come with us, a seven hour boat trip, It'd be so fun. But I think we'll be leaving on Tuesday because we have plans with Gustavo on Tuesday. Uh -huh. So, uh, super nice people. I'm yeah, sure. Everyone yeah. wants us to come with them and hang out. Uh, history knowledgeable. Can I have a shout out? Yes. Shout of out course. to History knowledgeable. <laughs> history. Steve <laughs> likes history. So, um, Casey is asking, where are you both sitting? Cool, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, watch out. This is not uh, toddler friendly. Yeah. But this is how they build it. So it's this for adults. Place, actually, if you look. Uh, was built by Gustavo's uncle, like with his hands. Yeah. He built everything. Yeah. He needed help from the neighbor, a few parts, because it's like big, heavy stuff to move. But the whole thing built by himself. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, super talented guy. He's a Polistano who just kind of built his retirement home out here. And so he's got this yeah. wicked little paradise that he invited us to. And we are super grateful for that. Shout out to Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Good day from Australia. Well, hello, Australia. Oh, hey, mate. It must be like super late there in Australia. Uh, yeah, or early in the morning, though. No? Yeah. Hello from Poland. Oh, Poland. We miss Poland too. Hello from London. Wow. Poland. I think we will go back to Poland as I well. Think we so. like that it. That's some of the best food we ever had. Ah. Hello from Dublin. Wow. Ireland. Amazing, you guys. Thanks for joining us. I'm just putting the few here for you guys to enjoy with us. It's so uh -huh. good. It looks like a screensaver. <laughs> like we uploaded an image to the live stream and we're just talking on top. Is yeah. right? Yeah, I, I, I hope my uh, phone here, we're shooting the live stream with my phone. I hope it's good enough for the quality to show this. I think so. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. All right. Someone is recommending us to go to Aro Petro, which is actually one of the most recommended places. Aro Petro. Yeah, which it means, means black, uh, gold. black gold. Black gold, yeah. So we will go there as well. Life is good. That's right, John. Life is good. Life is great. I mean, look at the view here. So nice. And I love watching the boats go by, the small ones, because if you're on that boat right now, it's loud and rough and shaky, and it's a big... But up here, it looks like it's... Uh, it looks like it's peaceful, and they're just slowly moving yeah. across, you know? You get to watch them go all the way across. Super nice to sit up here. I will say, I could go for some more Caparina. Caparina, yeah. Oh my Caparina. god, the Caparina in Ilabela, I think is the best. Or homemade Caparina, too. <laughs> homemade Caparina this morning was like, what a way to wake up. Let's see, I'm just reading your comments, guys. Let me just scroll. Hello from Brasilia, one of your next stop. Yeah, lots of people are from Brasilia here. <laughs> oh, this is why it's good to go. There's a huge city there. It's the capital. Yeah. It's good for you too, but we'll find something to do. Everyone says, everyone outside of Brasilia says uh. nothing to do in Brasilia. But the people there say, come on, come on. So I think we should go. Meet Someone is friends, asking, do you food. prefer the hot or cold weather? Of uh, course, this is perfect. Hard to complain about this, to be honest. <laughs> it's hard to complain about uh, tropical paradise. Your mom is asking, is it easy to extend your visa in Brazil? I think you can somehow. I haven't looked into it yet. I think you can extend it or you can just do a visa run and leave the country for a week and come yeah, back. Yeah, that would be probably way. an easier option we can to just do a visa that run. in Bolivia, especially if our friend Kathleen uh, is in Bolivia. But we got to check first. Uh, no what's pressure. the but we'll see we could change our mind in a few months i mean we're so going by the seat of our pants oh catalin is here hello catalin which catalin catalin safu catalin safu <laughs> who hey, loves buddy. history what's up? um larissa is asking us to go to parati yeah i think we will go there before we go to rio because it's on the way uh all right i think for one video ivana i think we should go to samba school what do you think yeah, maybe. Samba Here. school will be good. I'm thinking of uh, samba lessons. You, <laughs> you got your uh, first taste of samba during the New Year's. That was a small taste. I think we do proper lessons. It'd be nice. If you guys know nice any experience. samba school that will adopt us and take us in. Yeah, if, if, and we can make a video there, which I is going to disrupt the class, I'm sure. But if we can do a samba school, yeah. we're going to have a samba challenge. At the, end of the, at the end of the lesson, I'll do my solo dance and you'll do your solo dance. <laughs> and the teacher will say who's got this samba in their Ooh. blood. Yeah. 
I might be part so Brazilian well. because my dad's been eating pizza with fork and knife his whole life. <laughs> so maybe I'm a little Brazilian. Maybe somebody's in my blood too. <laughs> yeah, but you don't like feijoada. Well, you gotta try the light. Ah, you must... I shouldn't have brought this competition up. <laughs> now I feel bad. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, it's hard to see the phone because it's so sunny out here. Yeah. Good job, Ivana, reading the comments. It's too bright to even uh, get a squint, you know? Yeah. Here's a nice comment. Ivana is amazing. Boom. Oh, thank you. Hey, man, I agree. Oh, thank you to Michi Mura. I found your channel a few days ago. I've seen all your videos, and you have a great channel. Charismatic and funny couple. Super nice comment. Thank you. All credit goes to Ivana. She is the... <laughs> She is the brains behind the operation. I'm just the, uh... Whoa, Ivana, this photo right here of you looks amazing. Right here? Wow. With the mountains. With the mountain behind you over here, actually nice too, but the, the beach is so nice. By the way, this place got amazing sunset. One of the Ooh, best sunsets. The sunset yesterday was crazy. It was like purple and yeah. pink and orange and yellow. Shout out bon to our dia. friend. Hola, bon dia, bon dia. Live stream, okay? Live stream. Say hola. Hey. Hey. <laughs> this is our friend. She lives here. This is my friend. People are saying the Samba school is a good idea, Ivana. Yeah, but I don't know where to go. Like Samba. Yeah, we want to go to Samba. But Be honest. We need guidance. Be honest, Ivana. Are you nervous that I'll beat you and you'll be embarrassed? Be honest. Be honest. <laughs> <It's> a little <laughs> bit. She laughs. Steve him. is actually a good dancer. Why do you say actually? Because Steve is actually a good dancer. Some people might not. If you're not Brazilian, people think you're uh, not very good. Oh. Brazilian are you're saying the best you're dancers. saying Scottish Canadians are not known for their dancing. Well, that's fair. Well, that's fair. <laughs> that's funny, Ivana. Okay, maybe we'll go down and we'll check out how the fish fry is getting prepared. I do feel a little nervous going down there because there's a bunch of people around and they might not be want to be on the live stream exactly. No. We did. Either. We did ask them all. They said it was okay. We aren't surprising them, but. Also, uh, oh, here's our friend. Let's say hi. Hola, amigo. Easter. <laughs> Oi. Oi. <laughs> that's, that's as far as our conversations go. <laughs> oh, by the way, I got lots of bug bites. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Iabella Beach for being full of seemingly invisible bugs. Did yeah. you see the bugs? No. They're just biting you, well, but also being invisible. Enough. Very interesting. I tell you what, Iabella. Okay, Ivana, the million dollar question. The million dollar question. Would you live on an island? Would you live in a city? Or would you live in a village? Uh, city. City? Yes. Oh no, Ivana. I like the city. Our future together looks... <laughs> but you but you like the island too? I like the island for uh, maybe one week, staying in an island. But I think to live there, I would be bored. You know? What do you think? It's like... The thing is for me, the island is not boring because there's so much work to do. You got to maintain everything. Uh, you got to prepare the fish. You got to catch the fish. You got to cook the stuff. You got to... It's just... It's, it's all work. But because of your uh, uh, life of luxury that I would take care of everything for you, <laughs> it would be boring for you. True, right? <laughs> Maybe. Like the city is not full of things to do in terms of taking care of your life. It's more like entertainment things. Yeah, going mm. out. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll live in a city on an island. Okay. Boom. Whoa, we'll live. Yeah, that's a good one. It's City just on like an island. <laughs> <laughs> it will be impossible for Steve to beat Ivana at Samba. Wow. <laughs> it was clear in the previous video. No, 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 no. Guys, I'm a quick learner. I will really try. Did you see the New Year's video where Steve tried Samba? I think that's what he's talking about. He saw that and said, I thought that was good. Steve cannot Samba. Oh, darn. I said amigo to her. I just called her a man. Steve. Hola, amiga. Amiga. So that's so... What? Because when it comes to thank you, it, it has to do with if I'm a man or not. See, I thought that's what I thought. I still think I'm right. What? When I say obrigado to a man, and yes, I say obrigada that's that's to a female. Different. That's different. Amigo, you say to a man. But yeah, because Amiga. you're saying amigo, uh, it's a subject, you know what I mean? It's a subject, there's male and female. It's not like obrigada, like thank Sorry. you. Sorry, amiga, amiga. Amiga. <laughs> amiga. 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 Corrected my mistake, guys. That was a total accident. Because my initial understanding was I would say obrigado to a man, 
Yeah, but that's and not a subject. And that to that a female. Thank you is not a subject. Amigo, amiga is a subject. It's not a subject? Yeah. Isn't it like, I thought it was like, thank you, sir, versus thank you, ma'am. No. That would be you, obrigado, say. amigo. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, I don't know nothing. <laughs> All right, still learning. <laughs> Yeah, guys, this is the problem. People are recommending things to do in Iabella, which will be super great. But, uh... What is it? What Waterfalls and stuff. Oh, waterfalls. We're running yeah. out of time. We just got to Brazil, and already we have too many things to do. <laughs> I know. Yo, for YouTube, Brazil is one of the top countries because it's got a big audience and so much to do. Rich culture, which is good for our vlog, all the different stuff you do. Rich food, which is good for our even, vlog, even because like, so many foods. And the beauty of Mother Nature, the the, yeah. the, the various landscapes, so appealing. Even and like, a huge population. Checks all the boxes. Some people are, uh, uh, like, uh, some people are saying that, why are we, or asking why we are staying in Sao Paulo for so long. But there are just so many things to do in that city alone. Like, some people, I read one comment where people, uh, someone was saying that, the only thing good to do in Sao Paulo is just the airport or something. No! But there are so many things to do in Sao exactly. Paulo, you know? Exactly. So many things. We actually could stay for more than a month. Yeah. <laughs> so much to do. So many things to do in Sao Paulo. Dude, the best. Well, thanks for joining our live stream, guys. I'm not sure how long we'll go today. I'm not sure what the plan is. We are going to do a fish fry soon enough. Mm -hmm. And then I we're going to go down to the village. But uh, Our friends are preparing uh, lunch downstairs. But, yeah. They're doing all the work and we're taking all the food. Uh -oh. Wanna show them? Wanna go down? Sure, let's go down. You be oh, in charge. Oh, by the way, look at all the plants. I love it. This is cassava. We'll be having some cassava for lunch from that. From plant. this cassava plant. Yeah, from that. Uh, this one is something else that I forgot. That's papaya. Papaya. And I think the one behind it might be star fruit. I don't know. Oh, the one way in the corner is tiny baby bananas. Way in the corner behind the star fruit. Yeah. That's bananas. And of course, lots of palm coconut trees around the island i figured out why these trees are so beautiful see this tree yeah. i figured out why it's so beautiful because it looks like fireworks it's just a stem that goes up and then on top yeah. that's why those trees are like the iconic image of beauty because they look like fireworks yeah it's gorgeous here yes surely what's the temperature must be 30. maybe yeah it almost feels like it's above 30 today but also, my skin is uh, built for snow, so, you know, even 25 is pretty hot for the kid. <laughs> Alright, Ivana, you grab this, um... Ooh! I had cassava and banana cake for New Year's, Ooh. inspired by your vlog. Shout really? out to Paul Cannon. Cassava Shout out to banana. Paul Cannon. That's interesting. We never had that. Is it together, like mixed together, or is it just cassava cake and banana cake? Or is uh, it like mixed? Let's guess. Cassava and banana. I think it's mixed together in one cake. Mm. Sounds yummy, no? And you can get cassava there? That's interesting. Huh. Someone said, what are your ages, you and Ivana? And was Ivana born in Canada? So let's introduce ourselves to the newer audience in Brazil. Oh, yeah. So my birthday is in one week. Shout out to me. Wah, wah. I'll be 31 in a week. Oh Six days. Oh, my God. We are so old. 31, 31 is fresh. Ivana. And I'm even older is... than Steve, actually. But young. I, I won't say my age. But young but... in spirit. And Ivana was born in Indonesia. Yeah. And then moved to Canada when you were 12, Four, or 13. Yeah, yeah. 13 or something. But she is Canadian passport. We are both Canadian people. The question I always ask Yvonne is, do you feel Indonesian or do you feel Canadian? And Yvonne always says, both. We have both. Lame answer. How can you choose? Uh, do you feel uh, Chinese? That's another question. Because Yvonne is, Yvonne is actually Chinese Indonesian. Um, I like Chinese food. <laughs> Why? I like do, food. You, do you feel Chinese? Well, I like Chinese food. But do you feel Chinese or Canadian or Indonesian? Pick one. Um, I think Indonesian. I think Indonesian the most. Same. Yeah. There you have it, guys. Chinese so, not really. Welcome to our Canadian, channel. Canadian, yes. Welcome to our channel. Yeah. Jet lag warriors. Okay, Vana, grab this thing and go downstairs and meet everybody. I feel nervous to do that. You're more. You're more. Okay, let me just read a few comments friendlier. here. Okay. Let me just scroll through and uh let me give you guys this nice view instead of my face oh your face okay. is a nice view too babe <laughs> uh, 
Okay, sorry. Nasi ayam rendang. Ayam rendang. Hmm. Could go for some rendang. Yeah. We still have to find the the Brazilian food we cannot resist. Oh, so Paul far, said. One Paul of my said. Favorites is farofa. Paul said uh, his wife made the banana and cassava bread together. It's mixed together. That's interesting. We never. That sounds had yummy, that. dude. That sounds really yummy. Yeah. We still have to find our favorite Brazilian food, one that we love the most. Right yeah. now, I think it's farofa, which is not even a main dish. It's a side farofa, dish. you like farofa I the love most. Farofa. Every time I eat a big plate of Brazilian food, they always have farofa. And actually, today they're making shrimp farofa. Shrimp farofa. Okay. Which I don't know how. That oh yeah. They're making shrimp farofa. That sounds good, actually. It sounds really good. Let's I go down farofa. and see how uh, the cook off. Uh, hold on, let me just show them one more time this view. Ooh. <laughs> cue the music, cue the vlog. Someone is asking, have you tried cochinha yet? Yep. That's a good food, actually. It's an everyday snack. Bus station or convenience store or on the go. Cochinha. Cochinha. Nice holy dumping. Oh, oh, look at this. This is a man with a bag of charcoal. This is Carlos. Oh. The grill is getting turned on. Yes. The oh. fish fry will start soon. The grill master. The grill master Carlos. Shout out to him. <laughs> He's got the charcoal ready. Wow, history knowledgeable said you guys should win a Nobel Prize for a great content. Oh, that's so nice. I don't think we deserve that Nobel though. Nobel YouTube Prize. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, that's you. such a nice comment. Thank you. Mm. Okay, fine, let's go. Okay, let's go down. Let's go. Okay. See. I'm a little red, right? I, I look red because uh, we had a little bit of caprinha earlier. In the sun. In the sun. Double whammy. Yeah. That's it. Do, do you talk to the dogs in English? Yes. <laughs> yes, but they don't really... Actually, really well-behaved dogs. They mm -hmm. sort of speak English. They're super well-behaved dogs. Yes. I think dogs, just the tone of voice. You know, mm -hmm. you sound angry or you sound happy. They know what to do. All right. Mm. It smells good in here. Let's see what they're cooking. You're cooking. Looking nice. <laughs> well, uh. We'll cook uh, the fish there's a, soon. There's a young girl in here who's uh -huh. watching our live stream. Oh! Live stream. It's my, it's my stream section. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Say hello, okay? Hello. 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 <laughs> You're watching our live stream. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Ask for Moqueca. Moqueca. So Do you know what it is? Ask for moqueca. It's delicious. Moqueca. We'll ask. We'll ask our friends what that is, because we don't know. So as you can see, everybody is cooking and working, and the two <laughs> guests the two oh. are being grateful and just enjoying. Yeah, and they'll be like, "No, no, no! You're the guest. You okay, sit down." <laughs> they only let me help with fun jobs. Like clean a fish or, or cappuccino. Yeah, you know? that's Anything fun. Anything that they don't, it doesn't seem fun. They say no, it's okay. <laughs> so super nice. Look at this. Preparing the grill. I need a hat. It's hot. My my skin can't do it. One second. <laughs> Mukeka, mukika, mukika, mukika. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> Hi, Happy New Year from Rio de Janeiro. We will go there soon, I think. So guys, let me just tell you. Oh, let me just read this comment from Alexander. Cassava is originally from Brazil and is the most important food in Brazil. Used from north to south, cheese bread and farofa. And have you ever tasted Boscoito de Polvilvo? Can you say this? 
Biscoito de Povil. Uh, no, that would be Ilio. So it's uh, Biscoito de Povil. Okay. Biscoito, Biscoito de Povil. Biscuits of we never, we never, We never had it before. Never had it. But yeah. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we have. I've never seen cassava use so much like how they use it in Brazil. Because in Brazil, they have cassava snacks, they have cassava drinks, they have cassava, I don't know what else. <laughs> Farofa is from yeah. cassava. Cassava everything in Brazil. <laughs> Here's it's Gustavo. Really cool. It is actually the little snacks you had, you love it. Oh, that's the one. Oh, we had it. Oh, that one. That's the one. Okay, great. Let's try with that. Oh, okay, okay. That's the little it's snacks very, from cassava. It's a very funny snack. It's like mostly air. Yeah. Like a bag of them, like a bag of chips, almost. Yeah, and we it tried it before. Like much of any. But it's good. But it's simple and light and really nice, and they're sort of shaped like peanuts. Yeah. Biscotto de pavillo. Uh, we were calling them foot flaps. Yeah, yeah. Flat. Oh, look at this. Hello. Hey, little buddy. Hi. Speaks Good English, doggy. Right? Yeah, we speak English to the doggy. They'll be learning. Super nice. It is super hot today, though, no? Yeah, look at the sun. Right. We should go to the beach maybe later. Do you know beach go. in Portuguese? No. What is it? It's something similar to Playa. Praia. 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 Praia de Stifo. It's sort of convenient that Portuguese is so close to Spanish. Yeah. Because we know a little bit easier to learn than uh -huh. something like Serbian, which is very hard to learn. Yeah, that's true. It's easier. And sometimes you'll see like hummingbirds in the morning here somewhere. Yeah, super nice. Ivana, someone is saying, Ivana, please come to Reci Recife or Recife? Recife? How would you say this? Uh, let's see. Uh, that would be Recife. Recife City. If the C has an I after it, it's a S. <laughs> Can you sing? Steve, you look like a rapper with that hat. Can you rap something? Rap, rap, rap. Let's have a vote in the chat if you like the hat. It was, it was a purchase of necessity. <laughs> I needed a hat. I have a hat from my friends in Malaysia, but it's so old, it's falling apart. <laughs> and I needed a sun hat. I would prefer this hat if it was white. No, I like black. Black looks kind of gangster. Like any color. But shout out to rappers worldwide. I will not be doing rapping. No, do it, do it. Come on. Mm. 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 Brazil. Brazil. Mm. Brazil New Year's. Come on. It's not going to happen, Ivana. Uh, Steve I'm gonna is rap actually a good just... rapper. He can rap. Okay. Okay, Ivana, if I had both five more glasses of Capadinha, I could <laughs> certainly rap. But it, the thing is, it's not going to happen. I'm an old man, okay? <laughs> rapping is inherently aggressive, and it just comes off aggressive. Well, you can do a nice rap. There's a rap about Canada. It's not impossible, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Maybe you'll do a rap about Brazil and it will go boom. You'll be a rapper in Brazil. I could be a Brazilian rapper. Brazilian funke. <laughs> Canadian does Brazilian funke. Yo, there's a genre of music called funke. Mm -hmm. I think it's like same as like funky. Right. And it's from the favelas of Brazil. I, my understanding is that. And it's uh, it sounds awesome. I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, people say it's speaking Portuguese, but, but it sounds, sounds awesome. Cool. It's like aggressive dance music. It sounds really interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's cool music. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Cassia is saying I'm from Sao Paulo, but I live in Belfast in Ireland. So she's jealous of us right now. <laughs> oh, we have not been to Ireland yet. We would love to make it there someday. Uh, people are saying I look Brazilian. <laughs> it's amazing how I look Brazilian. You know, I wouldn't. <laughs> never in a million yeah. years I would think that I look Brazilian. But we actually have a video where I'm saying to Ivana that I look local, and she doesn't. And then all the comments said, "No, Ivana looks local." <laughs> I was like, "Oh darn." <laughs> I did see some people on the beach whose skin was as white and burned as mine. But mm -hmm. a lot of Brazilians have really nice dark skin. It's so yeah. built for the but sun. But people are so saying beautiful. if you go to the south, uh, you will look local in the sun. Mm. You know? I got to try to work on a tan, but it's so hard because the sun is so bright, it, it just goes to burn so quickly. I got like a 20-minute window of tanning, and then it's quickly... Yeah, burnt. even right now, I can feel the sun, even though uh, the cloud is covering it. It's, it's hot. still nice. Yeah. 
Let me read some comments again. Super nice view here in Iabella. Cristiano is asking, Ivana, please, have you guys changed your mind from what Brazil really is since you've gotten in here? Hashtag best vlog channel. Wow, thank wow. you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, wait. definitely. It was a bit of a funny, uh, you know, coming here because even people who we know who love Brazil mm -hmm. were like, listen, because where we're staying, we were staying near the center of Sao Paulo. Yeah. They said, yo, if you're staying there, you got to watch out. The center is a little rough. But I think most countries have a rough area downtown in the big cities. Like, it's not really specific to Brazil. It's not like overwhelmingly different than other places we've been. Yeah. We feel totally safe. And we're still being cautious. Yeah, you, you could I have Rio, it's a little bit more rough there, but we'll see. You can get into trouble in any country if you were not being yeah. cautious. If we are new and in a place, it's not because um, we think we come in with the mind of, oh, Brazil is dangerous, but it's because it's a new place, automatically we would feel nervous in any place, really. Right. If it's a new place for us, it's not just Brazil, but anywhere, but because of we heard all this stuff about brazil yeah from other people so it's you know it's natural for us to feel a little bit um yeah in not Sopolo's scared but a little bit more like cautious. aware cautious yeah, yeah. sao paulo's got 12 yeah. million people or more than that uh you're gonna have some areas that are rough because yeah. it's 12 million people living in one spot it's impossible to not have that you know yeah so we were a little bit more nervous, but that's part of our channel is just going day by day and vlogging everything. We could have, you know, taken a week yeah. off and not done anything, but, but part of our channel is just kind of constant uploads and yeah. we just go with the flow. So we were feeling nervous. So then by yeah. by two or three videos later, we were like, this place is and awesome. Yeah, we have only been to Sao Paulo so far and we did a little, little side trip to Campos de Jorda and uh, Ila Bella. So, so far I feel safe from where we've been and the people are yeah. super warm which is kind of more standing out compared to other countries yeah. people are super friendly yeah yeah and if they know that you're they hear you speaking english or they know that you're a tourist they seem to look at you and smile and want to talk to you like, <laughs> oh yeah where are you from and they want to they want to see like super inviting people yeah, yeah yeah so uh yeah our opinion definitely changed we didn't have the opinion it was dangerous we were just nervous that we might get in trouble yeah let's see uh Oh, Rogerio said, I saw your video on feijoada and you are a big fan of some parts of the meat. I'm Brazilian and I feel the same. Yeah, we get a lot of uh, comments actually, like most Brazilian just like the light version of yes. feijoada. Maybe we'll do a feijoada redemption <laughs> and do some feijoada light. Oh, Carlos is starting the, the grill. is on, grill. the charcoal is smoking. Yeah. <laughs> we actually have uh, an acerola oh, let's see. here, the little red uh, fruit I showed oh, you. Oh, really? Sweet. Where? Okay. And they have one here if you want some, you can sure. have some. Yeah. Acerola. Sounds good. It's red already? Yeah. It's oh, let's go and she's yeah, right, right. here, Steve. Thanks, buddy. I'm going to look for my sandals. Gustavo coming through with a great idea. So it's called, it's called acerola. Acerola. It's a little red fruit that we saw in the street, but it wasn't ripe yet. We found it when it was green and it was rather sour. So Gustavo says, hey man, we got a acerolas tree oh, wow. and we can go picking. So we can eat it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the red ones. The Look at this, Ivana. Look at this. The live stream turned into a vlog. It looks a little bit like a tomato. It looks like a small tomato or a small apple or something. Oh, this one maybe not. Is dry? Yeah, Maybe rip it open and see. This one is a little bit sour, probably, but. Okay, this one's halfway ready. You can try this one, Ivana. Oh, I can try the tip maybe. Sure, sure, sure. What is it called again? Acerola. No, Acerola. it's. What should be the flavor? It should be like a berry or it should be like a apple? It looks like cherries. It's a little bit sour. A little bit sour. Yeah, um, Brazil has so many fruits that I've never seen in my life before. True. Like this one, Acerola. Acerola. I think it tastes kind of like Ooh. orange, maybe. Yeah, actually, it tastes like orange. Yeah. It's orange inside. Oh, is it citrus fruit? Almost oh, citrusy. It's not citrus, but... Interesting. But it tastes a little bit like orange, actually. Oh, uh, like peach orange. Like the texture of a peach, because it's juicy and uh, soft. 
But it tastes like orange. Texture of a peach with the taste of an orange. Look at this. Yeah. They have so many here, try but try they are green, yeah. Try it. Oh, okay, okay, sure. Just uh, at the top. Yeah, sure. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, she planted it. Ah. She planted it? Yeah. Oh, so smart. Okay. Yeah, banana. And banana. Wow. Banana. Oh, yeah, they have the banana tree. How long it Tastes good. Yeah. Tastes like a sweet peach. Yeah. We have so many green bananas over there. Oh, green bananas. Look at this thing. Tastes really good, actually. The green banana. Uh, I would say this is super nice. Mm. Yeah. As a roll. As a roll. Acerola. 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 Dude, it's nice. It tastes like sweet peach. A little bit of citrus peach. Yeah. Mucho bon. Yeah. Mucho bon. Yeah, sounds right. I believe it. Juice. Okay, I put the other one here. It's okay? Yeah. I think it's okay. It was only half uh, half good. Oh, a bunch of bananas here. Do you guys uh, ever fried banana? Yeah. The best. And you and you want to live in a city. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> She's out here eating the fruits. It's nice, right? Maybe I changed my mind. <laughs> Maybe I changed my mind. Fair enough. Okay, sorry to the chat. We definitely neglected the chat there, but we were having an adventure. The live stream turned to a vlog. Dude, that's the rollis. It gets a five star for me. No, Ivana? It's super nice flavor. It's uh, sweet and, and kind of delicious, really. Honestly, I can't see the screen. It's so bright. Let me get back in the shade, guys. I can't see the phone. It's too shiny. Woo! Okay, let me uh, see if I can go back to the chat here. Hey, here in Toronto, too much snow. Yeah, my mom sent me a picture this morning of the snow. We sent her the nice view with the palm tree, and she said, uh, this is what you're missing. I sent us the snow. It was pretty funny. Uh, very... Proud of you to show Brazil in a positive way. Hey, we're just being honest. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's really beautiful. And go Corinthians. Never mind. Block from the <laughs> block from the chat. No, no, no I'm just you're kidding. still friends. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Corinthian. Uh, actually, this family they got lots of uh, Corinthian supporters. Yeah, there's, the whole family's Corinthian except for Gustavo and <laughs> and me. So I feel lucky because if Gustavo was Corinthian, it would be everyone except for me. <laughs> Uh, people are saying orange juice and acerola is a nice combo. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Oh, acerola in English is called Barbados cherry. Wow, Barbados cherry. The country so Barbados. Like cherry. Maybe oh, they have it there. Okay. And we thought it was similar to cherry, but it's from Barbados. We call it Barbados cherry. Hello to Sandra Ku says I'm a Malaysian in France. Has more vitamin C than lemon. And acerola. <gasps> Wow. Yo, honestly, guys, I'm melting right now. It's so hot. The problem with this black hat for the sun is it's black, and it gets my head really hot. <laughs> Might have been a bad purchase. <laughs> Plus, it looks like a wrapper, which is not my intended goal. What if I flip the front up? I look like a sailor now. Next time Unicorn is saying, next time you come to Serbia, you'll be my guest. Oh, thank you so sure, much. Sure, sounds good. We, we love yeah. Serbia. Thank we just you. went there for a pit stop for the vaccine, and we ended up making some good friends and some really nice food yeah. in Serbia. We Some really nice food. We didn't in expect much of Serbia, but but it because the it first week us. we were there, it was raining nonstop. So we we're like, ah, oh, this place sucks because it was raining nonstop. But after like staying for a while, we made yeah. some friends. We go around Serbia. We quite loved it. it. Yeah, we quite liked it. But plus, it has the best, the best restaurant in the world to me. What's the what's the word in Portuguese that sounds funny to you? Feijoada. It doesn't sound funny. It's just my favorite word to say. I think I've decided when we have a dog in Canada, we'll name our dog Feijoada. It's so fun to say, hey, Feijoada, you know? Hey, it's so, hey Feijoada. I really thought oh, schnitzel was the funnest food to say. This. I thought schnitzel was the funnest food, but it turns out it was Feijoada all along. Yeah, hey, Feijoada. Oh. Look at this little Feijoada. Whew, I'm getting hot, Ivana. What do you think? We've been, okay, maybe we'll do five more minutes. It'll be an hour. Yeah. Poof, it's hot. It's lovely over here. I love it. And I like the weather in Brazil because it rains every eight minutes. You know, it'll pour rain for ten minutes. Yeah, no, it's not that. Oh, as did you hear, hear thunder. thunder. Did, you, did I just did I just ask for thunder? Oh, no, Steve. I'm the rainmaker. I said it rains what? a lot in Brazil, then I did thunder right after that. 
just hear some. I might be a shaman one day. Which doctor? Have you ever seen the wood stove? He's gonna fry cassava on the wood stove. All right, guys. The vlog, uh, the live stream continues. We've got the uh, wood burning stove here, like a fire, like a campfire kind of a kind of deal. Shout out to uh, Carlos, the grill master. Okie dokie, smoky. Look at the setup, by the way. Such a nice setup. All uh, concrete to make it look like brick. Super nice. Oh, okay. So you get the wood here. Put here. And then fry cassava in oil. And there's the heat. So you boil the He's cassava hot. first? He's hot. Uh, it's boiled already. And then we'll fry it. And then we'll go in oil. Tabong. Mutobong. Mutobong. Look at this. Optimo. Uh, no, Ochimo. 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 <laughs> it means uh, it means excellent. Excellent. There you have it, guys. So this is our life for the past couple of days. Cassava, Enjoying. honestly, might be better than French fries. Cassava might be better fried. than French fries? Yeah, fried cassava Ivana, that is a be bold. Better. That is a bold statement. I think I like cassava better than... French fries is, might be the best food of all time. I'm going nah. to, to update my list of best foods ever and put French fries on top. No way. Depends though, it depends. French fries is a uh, head on miss sometimes. It's... So much better than French fries, all caps. See? Shout out to Marcos. Marcos agree with me. I agree with him. If I don't... See, lots of people agree with me. <laughs> uh, people are saying Brazilian hot dogs. We gotta try. Andre said French fries and Mitch. <gasps> we should make Mitch here. Oh, Put we should make Mitch for them. Yeah. That would be good. That would be a good vlog. We should yeah. make some Mitch and give it to our Brazilian friends. Yeah. Mitch is like Romanian uh, It's like a sausage, sausage, but it's with no skin on it. It's like a, just just a meat like sausage, and it's like yeah. kind of small, but they're super good. Yeah. With, and we got to get good mustard, and we got to get pickles. See, a lot of people agree with me. Fried cassava yeah, is better than... Yeah, a lot of people think the earth is flat, Ivana. Okay, it doesn't mean it's true, <laughs> man. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Oof! Andre uh, is asking, can we get to the beach with we you? We will show you the beach on our vlog of this place in yeah. La Bella. Mm -hmm. Brazil is really great to make videos because oh. there's videos all over. Unicorn. I don't know what cassava is. What does it taste like? Oh, cassava, how I does? Think, how do you? I think you would describe it as similar uh. to potato. It's a starch, so it yeah. is a vegetable. It's a root vegetable. It's, but it's a root vegetable that's hearty and yeah. starchy. Yeah. Like a potato. Yeah. But the flavor is not. If like you guys potato. are Brazilian, how would you ex uh, explain cassava? Yeah. How would you explain cassava? I would like, say it's, it's like potato, but it's more. Starchy. It's, yeah. It's more starchy Better. than potato. I like cassava. Uh, it's kind of more tropical. It's like a tropical potato. Oh, and it's more fibery, yes. Uh, more flavorful and more fibrous. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Something like that I would describe it as. Yeah. That's how it is. It's also common in Southeast Asia as well. But in Brazil, they're very creative with their use of cassava here. Mm. <laughs> uh, Paul Cannon says we should try Edo's. What is Edo's? Sounds good. I'm willing to try it. We'll look it up. If anybody knows, a Brazilian person can uh, vouch for or confirm or deny. Edo is worth trying. Mm -hmm. I think we'll try it. Yeah. Fried cassava is the best. Well, you are in the land of cassava after all. It seems like Brazilians eat a lot of cassava. Mm -hmm. So this idea of saying it's better than French fries was, a, was actually a pretty safe bet. <laughs> <laughs> good idea, Ivana. You're smart. Way to know your audience. <laughs> Poutine. Yeah, guys, we're in Ia Bella, Ia Bella, so near... Or still in Sao Paulo State, but near yeah. Sao Paulo City. Yeah. Wow, imagine people never heard of cassava. I guess you don't eat it a lot in a cold weather country because it needs, no. I think it needs tropical weather. Even to in grow. Canada, you don't find it. You don't eat You never in tasted cassava before you left Canada. I mean, I never tasted anything before <laughs> in Canada. Tapioca is made of cassava. Right. Yeah, when we hear of tapioca, we think of bubble tea. Not. I think of Taiwan. About, like, I think of tapioca. I think of Taiwan. <laughs> like bubble tea. It's not funny. I don't not think like of, um, a, like an actual dish. Fried cassava and bacon. Yeah, I would go for that. No problem. That sounds good. By the way, Brazilians wow, may be the capital good. of bacon in the whole world. Why? They eat a lot of bacon here, and a lot of things. A lot of things are flavored like bacon. If you go to the grocery store, mm. there's the one whole wall of like chips and like snacks and like salty, you know, bag goods. Yeah. Everything, whether it's potato chips, pretzels, uh, peanuts, everything has a flavor of bacon. Yeah. Every every salty snack but you I can get. I would think like North Americans still eat more bacon, so, like for breakfast and everything, in in their burger. But bacon flavor is the go-to flavor mm -hmm. in Brazil. It That's seems true. like. 
They even yeah. have like fried or chips like, that look like bacon. Yeah, they have like yeah, lines yeah, on yeah. to make them look bacon. True. Like pig pig skin or pig belly snacks. Seems like it's uh, a lot of people wants us to go to Florianopolis, so I think that would be our next destination yeah. is to go to Florianopolis. Uh, uh, Paul Cannon, Edo Edos are a kind of yam. They're sort of hairy, which does not sound appealing. Uh, hairy outer flesh, very white on the inside, delicious, almost creamy. A very cheap and delicious mm. potato alternative, big in Asian supermarkets, uh, worth trying. I smell another potato party on our hands. Remember the potato <laughs> party in Malaysia? Yeah. Uh, they're called Edos, which is a pretty cool name too. Yeah. It's amazing that there's more foods outside of steak and potato. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we're starting to have a... Going for lunch. Oh. Yeah, yeah I think the food's going to be ready soon, guys. So maybe we'll end the live stream, Ivana. Oh, hold on. Super chat. Super chat, super chat, super chat. Uh, Mihai Christian. Happy New Year, guys, from Romania, and miss you. Well, thank you very much Aww, for your super thank chat. thank you, Mihai. Super nice of you. Super helpful. Do you think this hat looks lame? No, I like it. It's kind of lame. Uh, okay. But oh, thank you to Mihai. There. Oh, my mom said fried cassava with melted cheese is good. Fried cassava Lisa. with melted cheese. Yeah, that sounds good. Shout out to Lisa. Ivana's mama. Yeah. But thanks again, Mihai, for the super chat. Really appreciate it. We will put it towards buying some... Hot coffee or cold beer? Yeah. Maybe both. All right. All right, let's end this live stream. I'm tired again. <laughs> Caparini at 11.30 a.m. Is, is a big ask. <laughs> we'll enjoy our lunch and then make a video of Ila Bella and yeah, show you guys. Yeah, stay tuned for some videos from Bella and then some more Sao Paulo stuff. And then the journey will continue outside of uh, Sao Paulo. Yeah. There you I have think it, the guys. Grill is almost Thank ready you very for much fish. for watching. I'm half asleep. I love you guys. Uh, peace and love. Love uh, you guys. How would you say goodbye in, in Portuguese, Ivana? Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao, brigado. Ciao, brigado. I really love ciao, ciao, brigado because ciao ends in a wa and brigado starts with a wa, so it goes together so smooth. Ciao, ciao, brigado. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Happy, happy new year. Ciao, ciao, brigado. Have a great 2022. Feliz ano novo. We will see you on the next uh, live. We plan to do a live stream every Friday at 12 p.m. Sao Paulo time. So hopefully we will make it if we're not doing yes. anything. Yeah. Our usual live stream is Fridays at 12. We've been off for a few weeks because of the Christmas and New Year's uh, Oh, here's the fish. Festivities. Fish. fish is coming. We said goodbye to everybody, and now we're gonna keep going. It looks like. Sorry for that. I do look like fish. an artist like this. Fish. 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 How do you say fish in Portuguese? Do you know what? Fish. How do you say it in Portuguese? Portuguese. Portuguese. Fish. Fish. Portuguese. Fish. Same. Fish. Oh, big fish. We're gonna put it in the grill. Oh, big fish. Grande. <laughs> Grande. Grande. Grande fish. Sororoca. 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 Name. Name, Name is Sororoca. Okay. Wow, the best. And the cassava is on. And the cassava is on. All right, the vlog continues. A few more minutes, Ivana. Sororoca. 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 Charel. Charel. One, two, three, cuatro. Four. Four. And we got some uh, cassava boiling over here on the wood wood fire. Manjok. Manjaria. Manjok means eat. No? Manjoka. 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 Oh, cassava means mandioca. Si. Sing, 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 sing. Cassava, English cassava. English cassava. Portuguese, mandioca. 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 Looks mandioca, good. Mandioca, aipim. É, dependendo... É, como é que fala estado? Aipim também. Aipim, nome. É, na M, é aipim. The name of the cassava is aipim. Dependendo do estado, é street, é... Ivan is good at reading Portuguese. State. State of IP. In São Paulo, Mandioca. Mandioca. Nordeste. Ah, North. IP. Macaxeira. The name of the cassava in different states is a different name. Capiche. Wow. We speak we speak Portuguese, Ivana. Pretty much fluent. Pretty much fluent. Yeah, Portuguese. Speak. Very nice. Okay, there you have it, guys. With that, we will end our vlog. Okay, thank you. Did you even... The name is different in each state. There yeah. you have it, guys. Thanks, guys, for coming. We will enjoy our lunch now. Uh, it's...
uh, and try to help out. <laughs> we'll try to help out. They won't let us, but we'll try. Thanks for watching, guys. Shout out to all you guys. Uh, shout out to Paul Cannon and all of the regular suspects. I'm not sold on this hat, Ivana. It looks a bit fruity. Why? I don't know. I don't like it. We just bought it. It looks good. I'll have it if you don't want it. But it looks good. Anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.